it doesn't take too long to heat up. So we turn the iron upside down like this and just take your wax block and just melt it onto your iron like that. Turn it over nice and steady and you wipe it across your paper. So you can see you've got a really good coverage really, really quickly. And you see that's really very shiny at the moment. It won't take very long and that is going to dull down um, and go quite matte in colour. Just see the last bit is going. And as soon as that's gone matte, people always ask how long it takes to dry. It's actually how long it takes to cool. As soon as that's gone matte in colour, there's it's cooled, it's solidified, um, basically. So, and then all we do is we take um, different parts, use different areas of the iron, and just start to have some fun with it. So once you've got a really good covering of wax on there, you can then just use different areas of the iron to get these different effects. Um, uh, so really as quickly as that and you can get if you don't like a picture just go over it and start again So it's it's literally as so once you've got that basic covering on just by reapplying that heat You're gonna get some really really cool finishes and you just start to use different areas of the iron Tip edge just have some fun and you'll get some really really gorgeous creations so this is my recommendation for all of the people that say look at that it's fun already um this is my recommendation for starting for all of the people who say oh no art's not for me i can't draw a straight line they love it it is rewarding it's tactile you get instant results and you can create loads of these really quickly you can be quickly creating greeting your own greetings cards um all sorts of things so this is my recommendation on where to start if you really have no idea at all and you just want to get a bit of a feel for how to move the wax around. Um, you'll get really quick, fast, instant and rewarding results. You can lose hours and hours with this, um, this technique. Um, so you can also use it as a hot plate. So you kind of take disassemble the this section of the iron and then you use it upside down. So there's lots of different ways you can use it. Um, you can introduce stamps, um, all sorts of different things. Um, and then to clean your iron off, just get some you know, bog standard old uh, toilet roll, turn it upside down and minding your fingers, you just wipe it clean. Easy as, ready to go with a new colour. There you go. So that's my intro. That's where I would recommend anybody just kind of beginning to get a feel, have some fun with it and uh, get some really instant rewarding wonderful results brilliant for um i would say this is suitable for anybody sort of i always say teenage and up but I've, I've had a few people that are younger as long as they're really well supervised but you know children love this through to people you know grandparents and beyond it's a really lovely place to start